welcome one love. my name is Tavis and today we are going to paint yellow because we are in the Easter season and uh, I'm a painter just released a new set of paints and we all know if you want to test the quality of paint yellow is a good place to start because yellow it's really not the most opaque thing in the world so how did they do now I just pointed out that a way that Armor Painter has done these paints to make sure that they are a lot more covering is that they increase the amount of white in them. And there's something to that. This the Monarch Yellow is slightly more lemony than the previous one, so there might be some, definitely be something to that. But as you can see here, this is straight out of the bottle, uh, the Monarch Yellow, onto a grey primer. And yes, my lighting does give it a little bit of a leg up, but not much. This covers perfectly in one coat. You could use this and not even worry about it. And that's kind of impressive, actually, as far as yellow go. But as I said, you're going to offer, a, you're going to offer a bit. You're going to sacrifice a bit of a brightness in it. It's a bit more dull when it dries. And I mean, that's a trade-off you have to do. Now this would make a good base, though. Let's say you enjoy the old demonic yellow. Putting this down first as a base, and then applying the new yellow on top of that would be really good. So yeah, there you have it, one coat. It's great. It's perfect. Now, of course, we don't can stop there. We're going to apply a bit of soft tone. It's a new soft tone. It's a lot more runny and not as jelly-like as the old one. But it's more like a, a, a Gims Workshop wash, which is a good thing. Uh, let's just bring out some of the shapes and things. And Technically, this could be it. Once you've done this, you could slap this on the table and have a tabletop ready model. It's good enough. This is basically mass production standard. But of course, we're not going to stop there. Again. This is second coat. Same thing, just straight out of the tube, right? Flask, container. Straight out of the container onto a wet palette to make it behave a bit. And then apply it strategically to spots to brace things up. Because, well, um, we still want this to look popping, not be all muted. Because it, it's yellow after all. We've got to give it the best chance to shine. And, um, yeah, I am fundamentally surprised about how well this covers. It is the same smooth, creamy texture. Man, like, yeah, I'm not paid by my painters. God knows they would not waste money on someone like me. <laughs> so this is my opinion. I've gone through Games Workshop three generation, three generation Games Workshop paints, P3 paints from Private Press, two generation Army Painter now, and I can tell you this: this is good yellow. Is it the best yellow? Probably not. I mean, depends on what you're actually going to use it for, I guess. But it's a really good yellow. And if you're just going to pick up something from them, this yellow is one of the paints I would recommend. It gets the job done. It's... I wouldn't say it's inexpensive, because it's not. These are expensive paints, no matter how you flip it. But on the other hand, you get what you pay for. You get some really, really nice paints. And I mean, that is not bad. That is not something we should necessarily be all pissy about. Because, you know, you can get cheaper paints, but they're going to have less coverage because they're going to be designed for painting other things. And I mean, you could go all the way down to, like, Crayola, starter paints. Technically, you can paint molds with those. I would highly recommend you don't paint molds with those, because they're awful. But you could technically do it. Should you? I mean, technically, you can paint a model with an alcohol marker. Again, I would not necessarily recommend it. I'm soon going to make a video explaining to why you, sh you shouldn't do that. But it is technically possible. I mean, if you're a deft hand at applying a top coat, you could probably technically paint the make with watercolors. Again, something we are not going to be trying. But I'm pretty sure you could. Just need a bit of a 
better base coat, primer, much rougher primer, white. But yeah, we're not gonna do that. So yeah, basically, um, I'm showing the entire process here because I rarely do this. Usually I cut things up to chunks because no one has energy to just watch these things. But it could be fun to see this. How sped up but still unedited me painting. <laughs> I don't know if you think it's funny or not. I don't know. It's a thing anyway. Now, of course, this is a very basic make because I painted this before I headed off for Easter. And Easter, where I live, for me at least, means convention. A small, by international standards, gaming convention, but one of the locally biggest ones. Gothcon. Um, it's a nice little thing you get get together play games buy stuff you know the, the, the usual stuff and I just came back home saw that my previous video has done pretty well so I was like yeah I really should get this wrapped up because I basically didn't have time to do the audio before so basically this is me three four days after I edited the video come back and rewatching it and recording the audio because you know that is how you do now, of course, during Easter, <laughs> things happened. We're gonna have to talk about it, since we're painting mix. Yeah, I'm fully aware of the Catalyst Game Labs backer kit shipping costs issue. Can't say much about it. I was fortunately spared the worst of it. I got pretty much as much shipping as I was expecting. Not as I was hoping for, but expecting. About 80 bucks. That is not unexpected. It's pretty expected, actually. But I've seen people. I saw people who had 1,500, 150, 200, 1,075 billion. I mean, that hurts. I have full respect that that hurts. And I hope they get a good solution to it. But still, in that shipping, it's what it is these days. Yeah, also, I plus some bronze to it because, well, I thought it was fun. And some green on the eye. Because, you know, you need to apply those things. They're nice. But, yeah. For all intents and purposes. This was the full painting process. This is yellow. This is demonic yellow from the Fanatics range. And I think it's a really good yellow. And I would recommend you pick it up if you want a good yellow. But then again, if you have a good yellow ready, this is not so great that you need to throw out your old yellow. Keep your old yellow. But yeah, this is it for now. We are going to get back into painting things soon. I'm not entirely sure what, because I'm like in the middle of things right now. I have no real fun mesh mix left to paint. But you know, I'm gonna dig out something. We're gonna find something to paint. And before we roll into the pretties, I'm gonna say as usual, stay safe, be kind, and as always, do stay safe. Bye.